hey hey you guys welcome back welcome back in today's video we'll be going into the dollar 25 tree here in new jersey they are now the dollar 25 tree even though it's called dollar tree everything up in here is a dollar 25 though we're gonna see what's worth it and what's not worth it in this dollar 25 tree and they also did have some great preps like these candles for instance lights out all you have to do is light a candle if you do not want to run your generator the whole time for lighting um they also had paper towels but they was low and slow of stock of paper products um they did not have much even when it came down to the paper plates they had a bunch of ramen just sitting there on the floor one thing that i did notice is certain of these cups they're not worth the dollar 25 you can get them cheaper in walmart for like a dollar 18 so it's a few cents off but still you can get it cheaper elsewhere if you guys shop for like your pet products at the dollar 25 tree let me know if it's now worth it or well if it's still worth it to get it here or is it worth it to go somewhere else for your animal products your pet products such as the treats such as the food and stuff like that all right y'all so their refrigerator section did not look too bad compared to some of the other dollar trees that i did see um i'm trying to see in a dollar 25 tree and honestly you guys i do not think that we're going to be seeing fully stocked shelves no time soon and when we do like i always say the prices are going to be ridiculous um but for this dollar tree in particular they did have things on the shelves look way better than some of the other dollar trees that i did see and honestly you guys get it when you see it because once you see certain items start being pulled off the shelves and you like dang i wonder when, i wonder when they're gonna restock there's a possibility that they might not get that product back and for a dollar 25 some of these items are still well worth it for instance this hand soap still worth one dollar and 25 cent body wise shampoo things like that you can get it on sale for under a dollar in some stores depending on where you shop but still it's still worth one dollar and 25 cent i would still spend a dollar 25 on some soap also lady products ladies i keep telling y'all the pads is flying off the shelves. They're not restocking the pads fully. Pads, tampons, feminine hygiene products. They are not being restocked to the fullest. Fullest. There is a shortage with feminine hygiene products. A major shortage. Get it when you see it at $1.25. I would stock up on those pads if I see that it is worth it. Let me know if you guys are seeing shortages in the feminine hygiene products. Also, they were short in stock for like the vitamins, medications, and things like that. But they did still have some things available at $1.25. But honestly, I'm going to tell you guys, if you go to walmart.com um, or go to your Walmart, some of this stuff you can find for, for under a dollar. Um, but most definitely is it worth it i'm not too sure let me know if you guys think that spending over a dollar for certain medications worth it like i said i'm not really too sure because these are just like little trial sizes anyhow as far as with the medications you open a box it's like two little packets of like let's say tylenol with two pills each so it's basically two servings per box and it's a dollar 25 but they did have a variety of things um though it do look pretty gap it look a whole hot mess they still had things and i cannot stress it enough if you see it just get it if it's there there it is there's your sign go on and get it y'all know how I like when y'all see in the movies the the items start talking and there's stuff that's just there and then the people look at it and then it'd be talking to them like yeah get me get me that's what i'm seeing now 
That's what I'm seeing when I go into these stores. The idols just be like, yeah, grab me, get me, get me. And I'm being for real with y'all. It, it be doing that. It be like, get me, buy me, buy me. I might not be here the next time. So I'll go ahead and stock up as much as I can when I'm out there in the streets. All right, y'all, but enough with the joking. I was dead serious, but enough with the joking. Um, They definitely had stocks of things. They had boxes and multiple models parts of the stores. The toothpaste, toothbrushes is darn near empty in most of the stores I do shop in. So definitely, if you are into toothpaste and toothpaste only, only you're not looking for alternatives, get your toothpaste, toothpicks, floss, all of that. Now, one thing you do not want going on when SHTF happened is a bad toothache. If you ever had a bad toothache to the point you just wanted to cry, leave it down in the comments below because I had it. And honestly, I don't want to experience that. So I'm going to take care of my teeth while I can. Um, they did have some veggies that was still one buck. So the veggies were not a dollar twenty five. It was one dollar the pasta was a dollar 25 and they actually was a little stocked on the pasta they also had the instant mashed potatoes those were still a dollar 25 that's not a bad buy most of the items in here that's a dollar 25 as far as with their food items are now worth it to buy at the dollar 25 tree because the prices did go up in the regular supermarkets um unless there's a major sale in your regular supermarket of course you want to go ahead and get that from your supermarket um i never saw that little cheese in a can before if y'all ever saw cheese in a can leave it down in the comments below but that was my first time seeing that vienna sausages and vienna sausages were only 69 cents still not bad they actually had some raviolis at a dollar 25 and everything else here was $1.25, such as the instant coffee. They had some type of caramel um, flavoring. All of that is $1.25. They had the milk. They had it, y'all. So they have not ran out of the the milk here in at least my parts of New Jersey. They had rice. They had egg noodles at $1.25. Still not bad. And they also had this microwavable packet of jasmine rice. For $1.25, still not bad, guys. One thing I never noticed or paid attention to when it came down to Dollar Tree is the oil use. They actually sell oil use and things like that, too. And they, they got it right there in front of your face. Grab it before it's gone. Grab it before it's gone. Y'all see that? Grab it before it's gone. I know it's a whole advertisement kind of thing, but it's true. Grab it before it's gone. I'm going to leave this video with that. Make sure you guys stock up on y'all aluminum pans too. It's an easy way to heat up your food. If you got them little, um, what do you call them little things? Like it's a barbecue and they put the pans on a rack and then they put the little, um, what do y'all call them? Like the little candle things right underneath the pans and then it heats up the food. Those are great things to have. I'm going to try to insert a picture right here on the screen of what it is. Get your batteries, get everything you need. This is it for this video. I enjoy walking through this $1.25 tree. Like I said, they have plenty of boxes, but not enough workers. You all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. I'll see you all next video.